Hi, second grade, it's Mrs. Grandy. And today we're on lesson 13-4, adding and subtracting using a number line. I have two number lines drawn here with two different problems. The first problem we're going to look at is 21 plus seven. If you look at this number line, you see the big numbers in purple. And what we did here is we counted by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Every little blue line in between is one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So every little blue line is one more. When we look at the purple lines, we're counting by fives, okay? So let's start at the number 21. Where is 21 on this number line? Here's 20, so we need to go one more. So 21 is right here, okay? Now we need to add seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line from here to here. Okay, so 21 plus seven. Let's see, here's 25. 26, 27, 28. So the number here is 28. So 21 plus seven equals 28. The next problem is 28 minus 14. We need to find the number 28 first. And I'm gonna use a darker colored marker for this one too, so we can see it just a little bit better, okay? So we're gonna start at 28, so here's 25. We need to go three more, 26, 27, 28 is right here. Okay? Now we need to subtract 14. When we subtract, we move to the left. Okay, we're gonna move down the number line, not up the number line. If we're moving up the number line, it gets bigger, like in this one. If we're moving down the number line, it's going to get smaller, okay? So we need to go 14 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. It's right there. So this is the number 28. This is 14. Subtracted 14 there. And what number did we end up on? What number comes before 15? That's right. It's 14. So 28 minus 14 equals 14. Let's take a look at another problem. This one's a little bit harder. We are using up to 100. This number line goes from zero to 100, okay? Now, as you can see, we're still counting by fives. And we have to put our four little lines in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's for all of them, okay? Because those are all the ones in there. All right? Just like we did on the last one, there's four marks in between each one. 
okay? And with this one, we're gonna actually do two problems on this number line. And we're gonna do them in different colors. Okay. All right, so those are our hash marks. So 80 minus 35. I was gonna do it in pink, but I'm gonna do it in red so it's a little bit darker. So we're gonna start at the number 80, which is right here, right here. We need to subtract 35. Since the number is 35, second grade, we can count backwards by five. Okay, so we need to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 80 minus 35, okay? So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. What is 80 minus 35? Let's see. What number did I land on? That's right, I landed on the number 45. 80 minus 35 equals 45. Now, I'm gonna use my black marker again, because this is darker. And the number we're gonna start on is 19. And we need to add 63. Okay, now, here's the number 19 right here, okay? What do you think is the easiest way to do this? We can count up 63, we can count by fives, but we're at 19. So I think the best way for us to do this is to count up 63. Okay, so if we're going to go to 20, we could count. We're going to start at 19 and go 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and keep on counting. All right, we're going to keep counting. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Here's 80, 81, 82. That got me 62. 19 is here. 82 is here. So 19 and 82. So what we did is we just kept counting by ones. Okay. We had to do that. We had to add 63 to 19, move the whole way up until we got to 82. You could count by tens and do 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, okay? You count by tens, or you could just count by ones. So we know that 19 plus 63 is 82. There are two things that I need for you to remember, okay? The first thing you need to remember, when you add... You move to the what? Good, you move to the right. When you subtract, you 
you move to the left. The right makes it bigger. Moving to the left makes it smaller. Okay. All right, so boys and girls, we learned how to use a number line to add and subtract. We have one more lesson left in unit 13. I will see you soon. Have a great day.